Hey guys, so I'm up on a roof today and you can see it's a big house, but I'm having a problem here with flashing. Flashings, poorly done, but also nail pops. Nail pops are a problem when you have a roof as big as this, but when the, the guy who takes the shovel and takes off the shingles, he has to go around and make sure every shingle is taken off. So every single shingle is taken off, every piece, every nail has to be removed. And when you put in the new shingles, when you put them in with an air gun, there has to be a compressor that actually doesn't go down from 30 all the way up to 80, as an example, down to 30. The problem is you're starting to get problems that I'm fixing now. You're starting to get these nail pops. I'm started to be able to bang them down and cock them up. But as an example, there is holes. As an example right here, staple holes, nail pops, nail pops. Now you think, okay, that's nothing. But technically there's a nail under there and it's popping out. So it's actually popping through and that's a problem because that is a leak. Because this lady who lives here said it leaks into the kitchen but I can't find any kind of damage. So as an example, here's one right here. There's a roof nail. See that roofing nail? That's technically a leak in your roof. There's another one right there. So that little tiny thing, this roof is only about two years old and it's already showing signs. So if I want to change this shingle, I'd have to change so many of them. You can see all the little shiny spots. They're all over this roof. I've used about, you can see about that much of my caulking gun just on little tiny little spots because it's in poorly installed. Plus spots as an example, look, where somebody didn't, you can see as an example, here's the edge of the roof. Why is the, um, why is the cap shingles on? you know, six, eight inches here, two inches here, because people are stupid. This is a very poorly done roof. You can just see it as an example. You can see all my spots here. I wanna show you, and you've seen this on my channel as an example. Five and five eighths exposure. Five and five eighths. Five and five eighths, three inches. So they had to try and square up the roof and it's done very poorly. See, there's nails just lying around. So, same thing. When you look at the roof, you wanna be able to take a look and see if the roof is straight. The lines are not straight. There's a nice crooked line. So technically, it's wrong. The edges, wrong, wrong, wrong. So, I'm just, I can't fix it all, but I could like, at least try to be able to do something as an example. Same thing, your eaves troughs have to be able to go down into your eaves troughing and not like this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big bend in the roof right there because of concentrated water flow. We did the same thing over here. The eaves troughs have to be able to take a screw to hold them in place. See that? took a screw, jammed it in there, because these gutters were falling off the side of the house. The same thing here. You put in a Tapcon screw, you wrap it around and you screw it, making sure that one pipe goes into and not over top. So again, water goes in, water goes in. Same thing, there's a Tapcon screw, holds this into the brick wall, and again, off the roof and into the eaves troughing because before, it came out here. Look at the Look at the damage. Two years old, we're going to have some damage here. So, again, you know, caulking, wrong. You know, brick sill, wrong. So, anyways, guys, time to shut up. But just to be able to say, it's all about details on your roofing. But clean off your nails. Take the, take the hammer and the pry bar and just pull them up, pull them up, pull them up. The back of your hammer, just go like this, literally. I'm gonna have to take this, hammer it down, and cock it up. So anyways, guys, I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna get the old finger, 
and I'm just going to goober it up. And that's all I can do for this roof because there's no way to help it any farther. I'm just going to bang that one down and that one down. I got a lot of work. SAN 379 out.